back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. One thing with me, me not go come out and give nobody no false hope. You understand? Me always come and me tell you, say, once them missing, I dead, them dead. Nobody believe, nobody will go tell you about. Cling to hope. Cling to this. Have little faith. No, sir. Dead, them. If you don't believe me, well, I'll soon tell you something. I'm going to start the news right as a first. A police constable and a female motorist has been taken to hospital following a two-week collision at in the section of Beechwood Avenue and Lindos Road this morning. Neither of the two had any visible sign of injuries, but the constable appeared to be confused while the female complained of pain after the Toyota which she was driving was hit by the police service vehicle and overturned in the vicinity of RGR building. Let me tell you something, people. That not fix back for now. You understand? That not fixing back for now. Me, I'll be honest, I don't know. Like how me I talk about police. I can't give you one little story right now. Yes, you when trouble reach your foot, me I tell you, you know. Everything will come back up, you know. Because once upon a time there was once a police corporal who decides to watch you. Me now nah got work today. I go and put on my shirt and me I step out in the street with my political friend them. Campaign my gun pan. And guess what? Him fellow squaddy them video him. And right now, him in a deep, 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 deep waters. But nobody worry yourself. Oh no soon see that come up, you understand? A long time him follows the walk, you know, people. And I just know him bit follows the walk. A long time. So watch your guard for work one. Make I go to some more news. Because me always tell you say, when them missing, I dead them dead. When will this end? But no, 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 no. You don't believe and have hope because people are telling you, yo, have faith and hope. You don't go and get to a little body. I want head alone and I'll forget. Police are probing the discovery of child remains of eight people in Spring Hill, Chiloni last evening. Report reaching a news team at about 6.15 p.m. Residents of Stewart Castle were walking along the Spring Hill Main Road when they stumbled upon the remains. The police were alerted that upon arrival, eight child remains, which include human skull, were discovered. I tell you something. Go and go pick up one head. When you just go and go pick up one head and go and go bury it, you understand? Whoever miss anybody and want to keep a funeral for them, just tell the police them to give you a head so you can bury it. But you know, truth be told, people now go come come tell you no lie, though. After me go to the and me look in the bag with the skull and me look on the skull, them, them the skull they look like so they get funeral already. Me be honest with you, no. I hope a man send for them. Anyway, now, people, watch your grandpa walk one. Them say, when you don't know something you're supposed to ask. I say, because me don't know, me have to ask the people them, how can we unite against this monster called crime? Eh? Yeah, that's for the evening to my view. But when it comes on to crime in a Jamaica, I don't think if we unite against that, that's going to be a, a monumental task. You understand? First of all, you have to get rid of the government. Because when you see crime in our country, just check out the government. If the crime is high, the government is high in the crime too. You know, the two of them just go hand to hand. If you have low crime in our country, there's low crime in the government. In order for Jamaica to achieve a, a, a feat like that, the people themselves would have to come together and just exclude the government and just do some, some judicial um, killings. Man kill people and then wait for nobody. Police come and arrest the person. You just, you just need a, a, a people with buckle touch, a whole band of people come together and unite, go down at the station, tell them to release the man because a man innocent. You know, certain things you have to take it to a, a savagery level to make crime understand. You know what I'm saying? Like all them people in the neighborhood, them, what them know. You know how them are getting in trouble. There's just a handful of them. People in a certain communities, like all in the new port, in a Portmore there, you have greater good. Portmore people them know the little troublemaker them in the, in the community. They need all of us come together one day when they must sit down on the corner and I eat rum and, um, drink rum and bowl. 
and just beat the shit, kill them right there. You know what I'm saying? Just beat them, kill them. Uh, so you have to rid, rid the, the community of them. You can't have them just uh, threaten one man and, and, and the man fear because of a gang of them. When the man can unite with the, all of the greater goods in the community and come up against them. And that's, that's, that's what you have to do. The whole community just gang up on them. Especially in a Portmore. You know what I'm saying? Downtown and them places, them places are already gone bad. So I don't think, <laughs> I don't think they're going to unite because the, the community itself is a disaster down at, down, at, down at them places. But in a Portmore, where them young fresh community, them people all come together as citizens and just beat all of the bad man, all of them will come. Huh? Bring back Angin for real. I think Angin, Angin will help man in certain situation. Protesting as well, you know, us, us people protesting, we, 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 we need a big crowd for protests. Get it out there even once a week, you know, or once a month at least. Until the government them try and change something. Good day everyone, good day everyone. Good day everyone. And this whole crime and violence situation in Jamaica. Why? Number one. How to get rid of crime and violence. The reason is the government knows say crime pays. So it all kind of hard because I have to get rid of it. Cause it is coming from it from the eye head. Straight to the to the root. You get me? So I think number one they they should think of ways of dealing with people that are jobless. You see it? That is one of the main reasons of crime and violence in Jamaica. These guys, I don't know how they cannot find money to buy food, make a house or what, but they get in the guns. Capital and that, that is something that we all know. It's all coming from the bigger heads. The people that have been, they, they lots of money, they fund the wars and they are not living in the community that the war is in. You get me? So I think we have to start from politics so I found politics but right down to the root of the money we are creating crime you get me because I can't understand why me I go kill somebody for a man that don't make no sense that make no sense first and foremost the people of Jamaica need to stand up against crime that is one of the main reasons why so much crime is going on in Jamaica. No one in Jamaica is standing up. You have a one day they come and they talk and then tomorrow again. Nothing at all. Is a I don't know. But only we Jamaicans can help Jamaicans against crime and violence. And my view is doing a pretty good job at it. We need people to speak out like my views. And that way that way we can get rid of crime and violence. Talk where you know. You get to me, I say, that's one of the biggest things. A lot of people know what's going on, nobody will cause what happened. It don't happen on their doorstep as yet. Some of them don't talk and it reaches their doorstep. And then they come, some of them come out and attack. Why not talk before? That's my take on it, in my view. Only way to get rid of crime and violence, we have to start from the big heads who supply the guns because a poor man can't buy a gun. Where they get it from? You get me? So that's where we have to start from the big heads. I know, it no matter where the government will bring back, hanging, shocking, poisoning, etc. You see me? Country. It now get better. You see me? When it comes to crime. Because. I don't know, see what's going on. They may youth and what you know. You know, see, man, they have no art. You know, see, one time, man, I be a night, man, I kill man. I'm on an island, I kill man. You know, see, they may youth and right now, what you know, man, and even want. They may, yo, John was star. John was star. He said, away. But the reality, they may youth and have no art, man, you see me? They may youth and have no art at all. They may not want night, go kill a man, brawling day. You know, see, I'll station, the man, my fire gunshot, I'll a church. So that tell us, 
you know, get better man, isn't it? Big man thing. So now we are still about reality and truth. You know, get better no matter where government do. You know, get better when it comes to crime. Seriously. Well, you already have provided an avenue for them to uh, re- basically get out the info, you know, because they lost trust in their system. So, they finally need another means which you have created where they can provide information. Uh, I think that's one step in a positive direction. The powers that be now need to follow so now people can actually trust them again and then create policies, implement them. So we can further um, fight the monster crime. For me personally, I feel to fight, 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 and make up better than tonight. You know. As I just say, hang them, see me in the capital. That's how I see. You know, kill them up before they grow up. There's a curse ending over Jamaica. A big one. There's a big dark cloud over Jamaica. Yes, there's a big darkness over Jamaica. Not how we can see the remove through the eyes. But there is a dark cloud over Jamaica. And it is consuming. It is consuming souls. Pantapa souls. But when you don't think Father got a feet, you just are watching a wheel to see if we the people have a fit around and let the demons take over because any time he step in any time the almighty step in any time Jesus Christ step in and start and start white and start fleeing back the America there is going to be destruction on this land. We are just one word for one in. And we are ignoring it. Because we deep. Not for we deep. In this yard ring and this voodoo business and this lad business and this bully for shit on this land and now how we have the family and we friends in the night and we know and we know to nothing but we just wait and see when Jesus Christ ready to put out his rod for us remember what nobody complain how we are get the one in how we not take it Yo, bless family, bless up, bless up, my view, bless up yourself. Tell me, bottom line, the government and the police, yeah, if I get the corruption out of that, then Jamaica can clean up. Without that, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, man, we have to go in the government and the police, and have to clean up that part there. If I not part of the clean up, then Jamaica can clean up. Without that, we do. Mm-hmm. Straight.